Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this especially exciting Misunio Media tutorial, we are celebrating 10,000 subscribers with the most requested look that I get, which is the orange teal look. Now this isn't always requested flat out as, you know, Theo, I want you to do a tutorial on the orange teal look. Sometimes it is. A lot of times it's references to movies, but, you know, a lot of the movie references I get are just orange teal looks. So I'm just going to knock those all out in one tutorial. I'm going to show you two ways that I typically do it. The first way is sort of more conventional way, and the second way is a cheater way that I see not done as much in features, but I see it lots and lots on YouTube videos. And I'm pretty sure there's just a lot out there that is this because it's super simple and super easy and makes everything orange teal. So I'm going to give you a little bit more talky talky as we're going to talk through some orange teal. Here are some examples. And now the best thing to know whenever you're doing orange teal looks is you should actually light your scene orange teal. So like this. Look at that. Orange and teal. And do set design and stuff like that. That's the best way to get it. But if you're in like this. Orange teal. So the best way to get orange teal is to actually film orange teal. But if you can't do that, here are two quick ways that I usually end up getting it. So this first way, I'm just going to do a quick primary color correction here. And this is going to be the more conventional way. So I've got this going. I'm going to hit Alt-S to add a new serial node, Alt-L to add a new layer node, Shift-H to go into highlight mode so I can see just what we're doing. Now in this node, we're going to make everything bluey. So boom, just like that. Going to maybe contrast it up a bit, reduce the saturation some. Very cool. Now in this node, we're going to isolate our skin tone. So go over to our qualifier tab. Highlight mode is still on, which is good. That looks fine. And add some blur to it because we just don't care. And now look at that. That's pretty quick and easy. If you want to go even further, you can add more corrections in here. So if you wanted to add even more orangey skin tones, look at that. So that's looking pretty cinematic already. And then you can do extra stuff afterwards. So Alt S, if you wanted to add a little bit of a look on top of that, do sort of a conventional, bring some reds out of the shadows, put a point there and a point there, bring some down, add some blue in. And then reduce that. And that's looking pretty cheap. So I'm going to reduce this. And then to be extra cool, we will add a big old vignette. Because who doesn't love big old vignettes? And we'll go ahead and add even more contrast to our skin tones. Sweet. So there's before and after. And that's sort of the normal way that I end up getting orange teal whenever it's not really in set design. And you know what? I think that is a pretty decent little orange teal look. There might be some noise. Nah, it's totally fine. This is a little bit funny down here in this dirt area, but you know what? You can deal with that. All right. So now the other way that you can do, which works no matter what your set design is, it is super cheaty and fine, but I've totally used it before just because of that. So I'm going to quick add a new version with control Y, and then I will reset all grades and nodes. And in here, I'm going to add a LUT. Now I'm going to add a LUT from the house LUTs pack. Calm down. I know some of you guys are not very happy whenever I do this, but this is basically just a two strip with some extra saturation and contrast in it. So if you're redoing this, you can know how to do it. I have two tutorials on how to create a two strip look inside of DaVinci Resolve. So check those out. But since those are kind of laborious, I'm just going to use this LUT, which is why you use LUTs. So there's that. So now, if we pull up our vector scope, we can see before, oh, let's go to a one-up also with vector scope. You can see we've got our colors all over the place here. Then if you add the LUT, it's just this one line. So now you're basically just saying, I only want the sort of reddy and cyan colors. But, you know, red cyan is not the look that we're going for. So add a new node. Going to add a little bit of saturation just to be cheeky. And then I will rotate the hue until it's orange and teal. Look at that. And I'll add some more contrast. You know, totally cool. So that is super, super simple. It gives it a little bit of a fantasy look, but it's definitely an orange teal look. And you can totally add some more warmth to it if you want to. Make it even more orangey tealy. Uh, hue versus saturation. Just like that. And we'll add our quick little vignette again just like that invert and get even more extreme now check that out that is pretty good 
and super fast, super easy. You don't have to worry about any secondaries. Um, gets you very orangey tealy. If these teals are a little bit much for you, you can always go to hue versus hue and just select them right there and move them to be whatever you want. So they're the green-ish. They're the purple. All sorts of cool stuff. And since it's such a narrow range of colors in here, you can get by with some pretty cool looks going on. So it's a lot of fun to play around with that look. I'm just going to leave it the way it was because I think it looks fine. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, thank you everyone who subscribed. It's been awesome. I never expected people to actually watch these silly little videos, but apparently people like them. And I'm okay with that because it makes me feel good. And I've gotten a lot of good stories from people that are like, hey, this helped out. So if you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, join the over 10,000 people now that are already subscribed to Meester Media. If you want to be even super cooler, go over to meesternermedia.com slash products and check out House Lets and the Bright Lights Light Leak Pack, which is very hard to say, but makes your projects look extra flashy. And it's totally a cheat, just like Orange Teal, but people like it. So, you know, whatever. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends so they can see how to make their stuff all kinds of orange teal because who doesn't love to conform to the norm that should be a t-shirt conform to the norm meesner media once again i've been theo with meesner media i hope you have a great day and i will see you next time bye <laughs>